Wait a minute, did Heaven Hill just one-up themselves? Hey everyone, welcome to Bourbon Bites. My name is Clifton and today I'm reviewing Larceny Barrel Proof A122. I do want to give a shout out to Heaven Hill who sent me this sample for review. If you remember, I was super impressed with the C batch of last year, so I have really high hopes for A122. This one comes in at 122.4 proof, which is almost two full proof points higher than the C batch of last year. It's still around the six to eight year age statement, which seems pretty consistent across all of the Larceny Barrel Proofs. And MSRP is still at around $50 if you can find it. This one's been really hard to find over the past year. Mash bill wise, it's 68% corn, 20% wheat, and 12% malted barley. So let's go and get this weeded barrel proof bourbon poured. Color wise, this one's just as dark and promising as the sea batch last year, so let's go ahead and give it a nose. Ooh, off to a good start. It has that same desserty quality that I really enjoy about any Heaven Hill barrel proof product. To me on the nose, this is like those circus peanut candies, not actual peanuts, but those like orange uh, candies. A little bit of marshmallow, not necessarily toasted marshmallow, it's just actually the really sweet, um, you know, like fresh out of the bag marshmallow. But there is some nice oakiness there on the nose. I'm getting a lot of those really dark, rich flavors that I really like on Larceny Barrel Proof. Let's see how A122 kicks off this year. Cheers. Man, I gotta say, that extra proof I think really helps this one out. To me on the palate, there's some nice fruitiness that kind of complements that marshmallow note that I got on the nose. So it's almost like a like dark cherry marshmallow, if you can imagine that. Very, very sweet though. I think that's what kind of sets it apart from Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof goes with those like darker, like dark molasses, dark caramel notes. Still like sweet, but like in a baked good kind of way. This though is almost like a, like a cakey kind of way, like almost like a lemon pound cake a bit. And in terms of like mouthfeel, this one does feel a bit uh, smoother, I would say, because it is the weeded mash bill. So it's gonna be a little nicer on the palate than like the rye mash bill with like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. This one isn't expressing itself as much as like a tart or like a um, kind of like burnt crust. To me, this is like a soft, nice, delicate uh, pound cake. And the way the oak mingles with it plays really nicely. There's a lot more oak presence than I remember in like the sea batch of last year. This is a little bit more tannic, but I tend to enjoy that, especially in a weeded whiskey that kind of feels a little more mediocre in general. It's nice to have some certain um, spice to it where it's not the rice spice, but it's the barrel spice. There is a little bit of like tobacco on the finish. Honestly, this is one of the longest finishes of a Larceny Barrel Proof I've ever had, um, which is something that I really look for, and especially in a cast strength Heaven Hill release. I'm really excited to see that in this year's Larceny Barrel Proof, at least the A batch. I really think they are up in their game. I think they saw that a lot of people weren't super impressed with the first few releases of this. And I think they're realizing, oh wait, if we're gonna put out this product and it's gonna compete with Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, they gotta step up their game. And I think with A122, they definitely did that. So this is definitely a winner in my book. I realize that Larceny Barrel Proof is getting harder and harder to find, so I'm really thankful that they're able to send this to me, maybe before it even hits shelves, just in case you see it and you wanna know if it's any good. So thank you again, Heaven Hill, for providing this sample. I will definitely be seeking out a bottle of this one. I think it's on par, if not a little bit better, than C921, and it's setting 2022 off to be a fantastic year for Barrel Proof Bourbon from Heaven Hill. So if you guys have seen this batch, let me know what you think. I always love seeing your comments um, later in the year, you know, as you're starting to discover this. Please comment on this video what you think of it. Um, I'm really curious to see if other people enjoyed as much as I did. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. It really does help out the channel and subscribe if you wanna see more whiskey reviews. And if you wanna support the show, you can join Patreon at patreon.com slash bourbonbites where you get access to our VIP lounge on Discord and our monthly and weekly hangouts. But thank y'all so much for watching. Until next time, this has been Bourbon Bites Whiskey Reviews with a gaming twist. Cheers, and I'll see you next video.